guys, it's Amanda Feliz back here with you from Scalar Performance. Just to give you an update on this harness. Just finishing it off, I have all my loom on here as you can see. You just want to make sure that this is for the DCU connector. You just want to click this. I'm just going to lock this in here like so. And push to snap it down. You want to make sure all of your wedge locks are pushed into place. And all of your can terminators are on in the right spot. Make sure you have all your terminals on the ends for the fuse boxes. And then you have your shrink tube that goes over top at the end of the loom about halfway. You just shrink that on to keep it all nice, tight, and secure. You'll notice that some of these don't have connectors on the ends because the device comes with it. The customer has these connections because they already have the device. The most satisfying part of the harness most of these connectors all have locks on them. You just want to go through each and every one and make sure they're all locked. And if they don't lock, you know that you haven't put your terminals down far enough. I'm just hoping they all lock properly. So once I've all finished, have everything all loomed up, just going to tie up all these can terminators so that they're out of the way and not dangling with the harness. You want to make sure you do the VCU as well. So it just goes in these little slots here. as tight as it can go. That's where we're finished up. All right, so that sums up everything for this harness. If you have any questions or comments on how I could maybe do better, just let us know and like and subscribe.